What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Train Sim World once again. We're doing CSX Heavy Haul and I'm stuck on the side of a train. Um, <laughs> I always have an interesting uh, start to my videos, like, oh, there it goes, that's, that's down. Can I go out here? Basically I was just walking around looking for collectibles, which is another cool thing in this game. You can collect random items and you get, I believe you get rewards for them, but I'm not really sure. I managed to get stuck on the side of our train. <laughs> so yeah, we're in uh, CSX Heavy Hall, which is uh, part of the standard game, I believe. It came with my game. And we're in this big bad boy, This the... what is this? The AC4400CW, number 366. Are there any collectibles? Like, seriously? Can I change this? I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna... Go on. Let me... Ah, oh, yes! That's cool, you can actually see the things moving. Yeah, I haven't seen anything to collect. Anyway, let's get on our way. We're hauling these today. These are, they're called auto racks. They're actually really cool. Because as far as I know, for transporting cars they are. I'm pretty sure they transport them vertical. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it puts them vertically inside and then it lifts the side up so they're like vertical. I don't know. Uh, I need to get over there and back into our cab. Uh, can I climb that? Nope, we've got to go around. Of course I do. So yeah, welcome to uh, Train Sim World once again. I can open these as well if I remember right, or some of them at least. Can I? I could have sworn I could. Oh, perhaps not. But yeah, either way, we're hauling some auto racks from Baltimore to Connellsville. This is like a small part of the track. I'm going to sit down here. I need to release the brake. I've learned the buttons now to do everything. Put the reverser into forward. Headlights is H, I believe, which is the headlight button, that one. Dim, bright, bright auxiliary. That's what I wanted. And uh, let's go, I think. Try notch one of power. I don't know how long our train is. Is there a rear camera? Uh, nope. There is that camera though. That's pretty cool. So, uh, we'll see the train go past. I'm gonna imagine it's pretty long. Come on, train. A bit faster. Right, let's try looking at the map. That should tell us how long our train is. Yeah, that's pretty long. This blue line here is our train. That's pretty long. That's quite a long train. And get back in the cab. I can get rid of the map. There it goes. So, uh, I had quite a weird issue with my computer then. And, uh, where's our destination? 13 miles that way, and there's speed. Right, that's okay. I just wanted to make sure all our markers are there so I know what I'm actually doing. But yeah, I had a really weird issue with my computer this morning. I woke up, and uh, I made breakfast, obviously. And I thought, I should probably record a video for you guys. I'm, I'm in the mood to record a video. Why haven't I played in a while? I know, Wildlands. I love Wildlands. I haven't played it in ages. So, uh, I fired up my recording software. And I fired up Wildlands. And when I went to press record, it just gave me an error saying, failed to record, check your drivers and all that nonsense. I thought, oh, well, that's a bit odd. I thought, okay, I'll, at least I'll get a screenshot ready so when I can record after I fix this problem. So I opened NVIDIA Ansel, which you can use in Wildlands to record super resolution screenshots. And I was getting, and I kid you not, one frame a second. And I was like, this really ain't right. Even in the game itself, I was getting 20 frames a second. And I was thinking, this is not at all right. Why is it doing this? And then it kept crashing. And I'd reopen it, and it kept crashing. So I rage quit. I shut my game down, shut my recording software. And I opened uh, YouTube up on Google Chrome. And I moved my Internet Explorer page. Uh, well, not what well, Chrome actually was. 
from one of my monitors to my other monitor, because i got two monitors, and it left ghosts of itself every like inch across my screen, so I had a, it looked like I had a thousand tabs open. And I was like, this really is not right, something's broken here. So I restarted my computer, and once again it was doing the same thing. And I couldn't work out what it was, but then it occurred to me that when I tried to record earlier, it said, make sure your drivers are up to date. So I thought, okay, I'll, perhaps there's a driver update and the stuff I'm trying to open needs the new driver. So I opened GeForce Experience, which is NVIDIA's sort of driver update software. And it was installing itself, and I was like, that's not right, I have this, I know I have this. And it, it was installing, and I had... <laughs> When it finally opened after installing, I looked at the driver version. It was about three years old, so for whatever reason, NVIDIA decides to revert my graphics driver all the way back, like, three or four years. And it didn't have support for any of the features my graphics card has, so it was just... It was like running off onboard graphics, which obviously is not good. Right, we do have a speed limit reduction coming up. This game, CSX, no, not CSX Heavy Hall, that's the expansion pack, um, Train Sim World. I gotta say, I'm not like a massive train head or a massive fan of trains, but this is actually a really fun game. I will say that for it. I'm gonna cut the power now, put it in idle, and see if we roll down the speed. No, we're going downhill. Might have to apply the brakes a little bit then. But yeah, this is a pretty decent, uh, decent game. Our destination is Hindman? Hi Hindman? I'm gonna call that Hindman. It's 12 miles away, but it does say go via, which makes me think that we're not stopping there, we're, that's just kind of like a waypoint. Maybe? Not 100% sure, I really need to start braking. Come on, brake. Let's try minimum reduction. Yeah, that's good enough. Get down to 15. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, this is a, a good game. I've got also Train Simulator 2019. I did have Train Sim 2017 with all the add-ons. But I lost it. <laughs> you know, you just lose a game. And, uh, yeah, this Train Sim World Head Over Heels is better. Why am I slowing down? Oh, because we're going up 0.5% gradient. Even Power Notch 3 wasn't enough then. Well, 2, sorry. Power Notch 3 now. I have no idea where we are, by the way. We are in... Does it actually tell me? Um, what yard is this? I want to know. No, it doesn't actually tell me. That's useful, thanks game. It's a big ass yard, wherever it is. A lot of tracks and all going in. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. We are going really slow right now, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of almost full throttle to uh, catch us up. So, of course, the last video I did on this game was in the UK on Great Western Railway. This one is in the States. I don't know which state, but it's in the states. And uh, I'm going to try and follow their rules, like their train driving rules as best as I can. But I don't actually know most of them, so <laughs> you'll have to bear with me a bit. I know that before a railroad crossing, or a level crossing, whatever you want to call it, you have to honk the horn four times. Two long bursts, then a short burst, and then finally one long burst, which you hold until you're actually on the crossing in question to warn the cars that you're there, because a lot of the railroad crossings are unprotected in the States. And I will try and stick to that. And say, talking of which, there's a uh, railroad crossing right here. This one is protected, so I don't know if I'm meant to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. We also have a bell. You can hear that. 
do our front lights flash when our bell's on. Yes, that's cool. Turn it off. They're going to stop flashing? Nope, just going to stay like that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what time this is, but it's really nice. I want to say it's in, like, Virginia? Pennsylvania? Maybe? I genuinely have no idea. It's very nice, though. Notice the two different libraries on our trains. The old one, by there, and the new one here. And as I said, we're hauling cars. I don't know if our auto racks are full. And I also don't know what colour that signal was just then. I also know that we're speeding. I'm not a very good train driver. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Speed limit will be going up shortly, but something to bear in mind if you ever do drive a train on a game. The speed limit only goes up, like you can only accelerate to the new speed limit once the back of the train has passed the sign. So even though the speed limit's 300 yards away, I have to wait until the back of the train, like a million miles behind me, has passed this point before I can accelerate. You'll see as we go over this, this marker which indicates our speed limit will not move. Thus, it, I mean it makes sense, because if you start accelerating, let's say the speed limit was for a tight curve, you passed it so you accelerated, the back of the cars would be speeding around bend, wouldn't they? Level crossing. I know you're meant to give a lot more warning than that, but honestly, I'm not very astute, and I spot them at the last minute. I mean, be grateful at least I'm honking, and it's not like we're going too fast. It's also not like we could stop on a dime at this speed, but you know, is that more crossings up there? It is indeed. Right, I'm going to do it from the proper distance this time. I'm also going to put my mace off to the side. And one long blast. Another long blast. And a short. And a long until we cross the crossing. I might have done that a bit too early though. Yeah, I did that a bit early, I think. We're also speeding again. As I said, I'm not very good at this. Fortunately, though, we are going up a hill. So, we don't have to brake if we are speeding a little bit. Because gravity will do it for us. I don't know if I'm meant to be honking here. Imagine living in those houses off to the right but there. That would become incredibly annoying. I'm going to keep doing it just in case it gives us extra points or anything, but honestly, I'm not sure I meant to. I think it is only out in the countryside that you're meant to do it. And one long blast until we cross the crossing. God, that is annoying. <laughs> and we need to apply some extra speed. I think speed maintenance, maintaining our speed, is something I do need to work on. That's quite a view there. Quite a view indeed. Might use that as my thumbnail. I really don't, that's the, my biggest criticism of this game and I do hope they fix it in a future update. The camera, like every little thing makes it move in. Right, I can turn the bell off now. <laughs> Come on, a bit faster, a bit more speed. The speed limit will go up to 20 in a minute, I don't know when exactly, and then it will go up to that 25 that we saw. I don't know how long this route's going to take. If it's too long, I might edit it out. Or I could do a little... There's something to think about, what I could do to pass the time. I could do a little time lapse in the middle, 
like a sort of sped up dash cam or I could do track side shots but I'd have to work out how to do them first I still haven't mastered the camera in this game oh, the speed limit's gone up to 20 give it power notch 4 I know, I'll have to think about that pass some time that hillside over there, that's a little bit basic, I would argue. That hillside. I mean, they could have done a better job of that. It's just a green thing with trees on the side. That's not the best graphics I've ever seen. Especially when you consider this game's a lot more expensive than Trains in World. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's overpriced, but I would like to have seen a little bit better from that and that up there. But I get the idea that oh, it's in the background, no one will pay attention to that. But when you're looking directly at it, they will. Probably should have thought about that. But I don't have an issue with, like, that hill there being not very textured well. Because, let's be honest, you're not going to see that if you're in the cab view like most people are when they drive trains. Speed limit's gone up to 25 now, so the back of our trains cross that board. That speed board. It's also worth noting that I don't actually know how to read signals in America. Not well, anyway. Because they have two sets of lights, one on top of the other. And it's usually one green, one red, or one green, one amber. All I know that is one of them's green, I can go. Or amber, I need to start slowing down. Or if they're both red, that means stop. But that's my basic understanding of them. I probably should have researched them a little bit before I started driving, but if we derail, we derail. That is not that bad. So let me have a look at the map, see... Oh, I keep pressing M for map. I don't know why. Is this our destination? I've got a feeling we're going all the way to the end up here. That is quite far away. So yeah, I might do periodic time lapses in the middle. Just because that is a long way. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see me travel the whole journey. Jesus Christ, that is long. Good news is I got some kick-ass music for the uh, time lapses. I want to know where we are. Really badly, I want to know where we are. Coming up on a 35 limit. My god, I didn't even see the speed then. Good job we're going up such a steep hill. <laughs> that really was over the limit then. Thirty-five, but once again we can't accelerate up to that. Right, we're at the limit now. Let's try notch two. That should hold our speed pretty well, hopefully. And I think after I've done this video, we are still slowing down. That's good. That's better. Yeah, after this video, I think I might try Wildlands again. Now I'm pretty sure I've solved my driver issues and all that. That, that threw me that day, that really threw me. It took me ages to figure that out. Is the train slowing down or... It is. Throttle notch 2 is not good enough, I'm going to have to go up to 3. Oh, come on, 3. And, uh, while we're going along, let's have a look around the cab, eh? So this is, uh, is that a guy or a girl. It's 28. That's an Apache helicopter. She's, uh, the Apache... I don't know what the dinner name for Apache. It's just a girl. Fuck it. <laughs> That's the point where my brain just went and I give up. Uh, window heaters? That's a nice feature. Road crossing lights. Come on. Refrigerator on. That's the most important bit. Radio on. Long hood headlight on. So this is lights then. Power. What are these? Fuel pump. Ah, these are important. Running lights. Cab computer display. How fast are we going? 
doesn't say. But it does, but I can't read it. Ah, only 19 miles an hour. I just don't want to get caught speeding. Or derail when I'm running around the train. Fan. So they're, they're fan controls over there. What's that? I don't know what that is. Max speed 70. This thing here, I think, is the lavatory? No. Uh, I thought that was the toilet down here. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? This is straight up Titanic. <laughs> we can actually do this. Can I get on the roof? Please, can I get on the roof? No, I can't. God, oh, that sucks. Like, guys, seriously, I'm on the front of the train. Titanic, there's Jack behind me. This is awesome. Let's close that. <laughs> that is cool as shit. That's not a door. I don't know why that's not symmetrical, but it kind of bugs me. We got another chair here, second man seat. Let's have a sit in there. Nope, that's the wrong button. Yeah, nice cool cool. Nice cool little view. She does doesn't seem to care that this train's driving itself now. That seems legit. Door. I want to know if I can get into the second locomotive engine thing. Oh. <laughs> this is... Oh, I can't cross it. Are you kidding me? Why can I not cross you? Come on. Oh, what? I even opened them. Yeah, it won't let me jump off, I don't think. Yeah, it won't even give me the option. I want to go on the roof, but it won't let me. Right, I should probably stop running around and go and... There's a green light. That's good, I know that. That means I can go. Ah, I can't get back in. Come on. That's a problem. Guys, we got a problem. E? Why won't it let... It won't let me back in. Um, guys? Yo, Michelle. Let me out. Let me in. This is an actual problem. I, I'm not even joking. I can't, I'm holding W now to walk and I cannot get back in. What if I try squeezing in sideways? Uh, come on. This is an issue, guys. Um... Um... <laughs> Can I go through this door? That's a door. No, I can't even open that. What the fuck, game? Not funny, not cool. Um... Genuinely, this is a problem. And I can't get to the other locomotive as well to drive from there. Why? Why, game? Why you do this to me? I went to the front just fine, but no, apparently I can't go to the back. Ah, uh, sugar. I, I genuinely can't get in, guys. I'm fucked. I messed up. Can I emergency stop the train or something? Oh, I'm glitched now. I'm just I'm trying to get in, but I can't. Can I not jump or nothing? No. This is... <laughs> There's nothing I can do. There's no door. Please tell me there's a door that opens or something. What's that? Handbrake. Are we slowing down? I think we may be. Um, yeah, handbrake's applied. Do you ever get that feeling where you just think, I really fucked up here? Well, I'm very much in that situation right now. We must be slowing down. Yeah, we're definitely slowing down. 
bit of random track that goes nowhere, as you do. Beep. Beep. There, I did the beep for you. Come on, let me in. Come on. Please. Ugh, it's trying so hard. Ugh. Yes. Yes, let's not do that again. Oh my god, what even was that? Is the emergency brake even applied? Let's cut the power. I'm pretty sure the brake is applied. Automatic brake. Independent brake. There. Right, we should be able to go now. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're eight miles away from Hindman. Based on the fact that we were doing like 15 miles an hour, I think the train would have eventually stopped, even though it still had full power on. <laughs> oh, this is why I should not be left unsupervised, guys. It really isn't. Never put me in a position of trust. It ends badly. At least the front didn't glitch out. Yeah, the front's fine, it's just the back door. I'm, I think if I go out there again, I need to remember to cut the power. That is very important. I can't really see much other than... It's a cool view. I suspect I might be speeding now. Why is that even there? Is that like where you keep your shoes? What's that? Fuses and torpedoes. Uh, definitely shouldn't play with them. Fuses and torpedoes, that's a dangerous thing to say to me. Do you want some fuses and torpedoes? Yeah, sure. Moments later, several hundred people die. Right, I think now... Well, I've got back in the train. It's a good time for a time lapse. So I'll bring you back as we approach Hindman. Hindman, I'm going to say Hindman. And we're just going to have a uh, little bit of a ride in the cab of the train. Okay guys, we're just shy of a mile out from Hindman. I don't know what's that Hindman, but I didn't waste that time just sitting there while I did the um, little montage, the first person montage, whatever you want to call it. I was actually researching this route, and uh, this route is called Sandpatch Grade, and it's in the Elkhenny Mountains, I don't know how to pronounce that, 
Uh, it starts in Cumberland, Maryland, where we were. That's the yard where we started. I believe so, at least. And uh, climbs to Sandpatch, Pennsylvania, at an altitude of 2,258 feet. So, a uh, little bit of history of that track, I guess. The uh, CSX Heavy Hall, that was the first route to be re released on PC. And, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with the horns here. Jesus. Here's Hinman. Yeah, CSX Heavy Hall was the first to be released. It's only available on PC. And it was like the, the first route with Train Sim World that was released. Right, what's our next objective? Uh, go via Mans. Okay, how far is Mans? 12 miles. So it's breaking up into 12 mile sections. I can turn the bell off now. And we also need to slow the hell down. There's a speed limit coming up for 25. Oh. You can drive this route if you prefer. This was my favourite train just because it looked the biggest and most powerful. You can drive a... it was called a GP38-2 and an SD40-2 and they're like the classic trains in the States. Now if you picture an American freight train, you'll probably picture one of them. And uh, I went for this one, the AC4400CW. In, they're all in CSX livery, I can turn the bell off now. We just got down to the speed limit in time, that's good. I'm going to put in notch 3, just to keep our speed. And uh, you'll see, if we look at this icon here, that we are uh, constantly climbing. Because as it's called Sandpatch Great, it climbs up over the Elgeny Mountains. I'm going to... Elgeny, that's what I'm going to call them. I'll put a little thing up on the screen how to spell it. We slowed down a bit too much there. But yeah, this is our gradient, so we're going up at a 1.4%. This... I'm not actually sure what that means. That's not... That, that doesn't mean Sun Visor, that's a Sun Visor. That's actually a really cool animation. I'm going to put that up so it doesn't keep bothering me. That is... Some trains have an alert, like a dead man switch, in case you have a heart attack behind the controls. Then, if you don't press anything for a while, that will activate, and if you don't do anything about that, the brakes will be applied. Why are we slowing down so much? We're in forward, aren't we? Yeah. I'm going to go full throttle, because we're not accelerating. And talking of acceleration, that is our power, so, ooh, we're actually overpowering it right now. It's struggling. It's in the orange. You don't want to be there. So the green is good. Yellow is not enough power. Orange is too much power. That, not sure. That is our... That's what notch of power in. So if I go down to five, and that changes. That, again, I'm not really sure. That's our equalizer. So that's our brake pressure pipes, I believe. Don't quote me on any of this. That is the brake pressure itself. That's the time. That's our speed, obviously. That is if the train is over speeding, but this is only quote for 70, which is about there, so take that over a pinch of salt. And that is our current speed limit. I do like that sunburst around motion. Let's see what other little bells and whistles we can play with. So we got a fan there. Is that on? Doesn't look like it's on. So there's the fan blades. Oh, hi. No, I think that's that fan there. Okay, we don't really need that on. That? I don't know. That's, we can't even play with that to find out. Radio, I believe. Vent. Uh, fans again. And then we got... Oh. Uh, how do I... I couldn't look around then for some reason. Right, try that again. Then we got these up here. It's easier if I sit down to show you these, actually. Come on. So, that is our wiper. So, there's the wipers. Those are side wipers, I believe. No. Um, oh, those wipers over there. So, if I turn that one off to zero... Huh. Oh, I think I got an idea. Let me put it on again. Let me put that one on and that one off just to test. 
would this happen to be? Yes, it's that wiper there. So if I turn it off again. Yeah, that's in case you're reversing, that is. Useful, very useful to know indeed. Right, speed is still pitifully slow. And uh, we got 11 miles left to go. There's our objective, Mans, obviously. Go via once again. And these are our points, so I'm bronze at the moment, but I think, I'm pretty sure they've been constantly just going up for random things. I don't know, I think they stop giving you points if you're speeding or whatever. Um, game will end instantly if you blow a red light, I wouldn't advise doing that. And uh, I'm pretty sure that is about it. Um, we're playing today, we're basically we've, o we've taken over a, an actual real life service. And you'll see other real life services on the train, one passed us during the time lapse a minute ago. So, um, yeah, this is a real train, and I'm pretty sure the real train drive would be going a lot faster than we are now. But apparently, we can't accelerate, but when we are going uphill at quite a hell of a gradient. Which is not particularly great. What's that? That is... There's another sun visor. Does this have a cool animation? It does indeed. Oh, I like that. Desk light dimmer. I can't actually see that change. Oh, desk light. Haha. -ha. Dim. Right. Where is the actual light then? Where's that coming from? Uh, it looks like it's directly. Is it that? Yeah, it's that there. So that's not a fan. That's apparently the fan's just not animated. Right. Okay. Since we are going so slowly, I think what I'm gonna do is another little time lapse you guys until we get to Mans or anything interesting happens. Does that sound like a plan? It sounds like a plan to me because then it'll be kind of like half like speed through, nice relaxing with music and half me talking so I think that's a pretty good mix so um, enjoy. Turn us 
Okay guys, so we powered through Mance and we're on our way to Salisbury, which we've got to go via. And um, honestly, there was nothing at Mance, so I didn't bring you back. And the speed limit all the way there was 25. Like, it just went up to 30 by that tunnel we went through. And Jesus Christ, that was tedious. So I was on full power and I could not accelerate. We're now in a 30 limit, but it's about to be 35. Uh, going downhill, so we must have just peeked over the top there. And uh, now there's three tracks all of a sudden. I don't know why, there just is. So I thought this was an interesting place to bring you back. Um, after Salisbury, or Salisbury, however you want to say it, I believe the next one is our actual destination. I don't know what's there, it could be a yard. Um, it could be we just stop at a red light. I don't know. I've never run this before. But I think I did a pretty good job keeping the speed constant. 
and uh, we're about 5.5 miles out it's a 30 limit now as I said but it's about to be 35 I'm gonna have to start braking soon because we're going downhill and we're accelerating yeah I'm gonna have to brake come on just lose a bit of speed we're going downhill at a 1.2 percent gradient come on there it goes I released them too early I think I'm going to wait for the little red marker to move, that means the back of the train's past the speed limit board. I reckon we're about 10 miles out, and I tell you, this took a lot longer than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a quick, like, maybe an hour, but nah, it was a lot longer than that. Right, it's gone up to 35 now, um, is it worth accelerating? I don't think it is. I think we're better off just rolling down the hill. A 1% gradient, it won't take long to catch that speed. But yeah, this has been a long journey. And uh, you may have noticed that up in the corner here it said open visor quite a bit. It was really hard to find a place to put my mouse where it wasn't in the way and it wasn't saying that. My train is actually really long. Oh. I'm just going to have to judge it. Is that right? Yeah, I think I judged that perfectly. Ooh, that's cool. A little uh, random event on the side there. Right. 600 yards out from another 35 zone limit. We don't have to worry about that. That's a radio speed limit. But yeah, this has been a pretty long journey. I can turn the bell off now. I keep forgetting to do that. Honestly, I like just walking around. I wish I could go back out there, but I really don't trust it, especially not on a hill. I still love that. Fuses and torpedoes. <laughs> That's like the best name ever. The only problem is I have no idea how fast I'm going when I'm out here. 35 limit. Yeah, we could be like speeding a lot now and I would have no idea. It is really cool that you can actually do this though. 336. Oh, it's a lot quieter when I close the door. Okay, that makes sense. The sound glitched out then. Ugh, it's so hard to judge speed. It feels like I'm speeding, but I feel that it's just because I'm low down. Watch now, we'll see a red light. <laughs> I have to run back inside and slam the emergency brake. It's just four miles over there, our destination. It's a very curvy track because we're going up a mountain. Do you know what? I might just leave the door open. Why not? How fast are we going? Yeah, we're... Oh, shit. <laughs> and I missed that level crossing. Screw it. Yeah, come on, brakes. Not the time to fail. Jesus Christ. I was like, it feels like we're speeding, but I doubt we are. I love the way I left the door open on the front. But yeah, we were speeding, all right. <laughs> no, we lose points for that. Let's just pop you shut, because you're annoying my OCD. Yeah, we were speeding a lot then. <laughs> like a... We really were speeding, that was a lot. We would have got fired instantly for that in real life. Assuming they actually found out about it. I love the way the lights flash though when you turn the bell on. Or perhaps not. Ah, it's when you press the horn. That makes perfect sense. If I release the brakes now, I have. <laughs> yeah, we would definitely have got fired then if our boss found about that find out about that. I've been driving this train now for almost two hours. That's how long it took to um, to drive to Mans, pretty much. Well, to drive to here, actually. Of course, before, I could just put the train in full throttle in forward and just sit back and relax. Now I've actually got to control the speed. Got to pump the brakes every couple of seconds. Drop thing 33 and release. Rolls back up to 35. 
<laughs> this is going to get repetitive real fast. It is starting to level out though. It's a 0.8% gradient now. I really didn't think it would take this long. Drop down to 32. Release. Right, I'm going to um, do one last time lapse to get us close to our final destination. And then I will bring you back then. And hopefully we won't go out of control and crash. That is my, uh, that's my primary goal. So I will see you then. So it's three track again and we just powered through Salisbury and now our destination has changed from via to stop at location. We've got to go to Rockwood main number one. So the fact that it's number one makes me think it's not a yard, it's just a siding or something. But we'll see, I could be wrong. It's 6.4 miles away, the track is leveled out. In fact I'm going to add a little bit of power just to uh, get us going again we're back up to the speed limit and um, yeah we're not too far out now this has been as I said before a much longer journey than I anticipated and I am just glad that I decided it would be a good idea to time lapse some of it because otherwise we would have been here for 2 hours and 25 minutes by now so uh, that's good uh, speed limit is still 35. I was kind of hoping it'd go up to like 50 again. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. It is a maintained track. It's uphill, downhill. In fact, talking of uphill, we are now going uphill, so I'm going to add some more power to uh, keep us going. Six miles away from our destination. And, uh, yeah, it's been cool. One thing I've noticed thus far, these telegraph holes next to the track are very low. <laughs> they also got no wires between them, but then I suppose the reason they're so high... Oh, there's some wires between them. Yeah, the reason they're so high is simply because people could grab the wires otherwise, which is inherently bad. So, next to a train track, they don't really need to be that high, do they? Oh, I can reduce the power now. We're going back downhill, so I might have to actually brake in a moment. Some lovely views, mind. The scenery's actually changed quite a bit since we peeked over the hill. Yeah, I'm going to have to break a little bit. Only a minimum reduction. We're going down 0.5%. Not much. So every hundred... The way that works, every 180 feet forward we go, we drop one foot in altitude. Because there's... Um, there's 90%, isn't there? No, it's not. It's 100%. What am I talking about? So every 200 feet forward, we lose a uh, foot in altitude. If it was 1% for every 100 feet, we'd lose 1 feet, and so on and so forth. I think the steepest they go is like 3.2%, but they're very rare. Trains simply struggle to make it up inclines. Like, why am I slowing down so much? Because my brakes are on, that's why. Duh. Give it a bit of full blast, even though we're going downhill, so we'll catch up real quick. 
I was hoping we'd also see some more AI trains than we've seen, but, you know, sometimes you can't choose. Like, in real life, the, this track's probably not that busy. Look at my train, it goes all the way back around that curve. This is a long-ass train. Still can't see the back of it. <laughs> yeah, very long. Right, I'm going to cut the power. And, uh... I want to have another little walk around. Do I chance it? Do I chance going back out here? Mm, yeah. Hopefully we can get back in this time. I just like having a look around. I really want to make it between these two trains. Come on. No, it's not going to let me, is it? That's annoying. Okay, let's see the moment of truth. Will it let me back inside? I can't even get up these steps now. That's not a good sign. Come on, game. Ugh. There it goes. Ugh. I'm gonna force you. This is what I, exactly what I was doing last time. Just, just hold W and Shift to run. And it'll pop you in eventually. There it goes. Yeah, I think that really needs to be fixed. That seems like a bug to me. Oh, we're speeding. Nope, not throttle. Brake. Hey, we got a 45 limit coming up. But it's two miles away, and our destination's four miles away, so we're going to get just over two miles to do that speed. I mean, I'll try to get to that speed, but depending on the incline, it might not be possible. That is the fastest we've seen since we left. Uh, where did we leave? What was that place called? I don't know. Where have we started? No, it's slowing down too much. I really need to master this brake thing. I was doing perfectly until I started chatting to you guys. Yeah, just give it a bit of power to get around here. Look at that on the right there, it's like a, some kind of telecommunications tower. What is that? No, it's a mine. So they're mining. So as a rock slide doesn't hit the tracks, I'm fine with that. I like little details like that. It'd be nice if the cars were moving though. Or the diggers, whatever you want to call them. Green light, that's good. Yeah, we go we're going downhill slightly now, so we probably won't pick up too much speed. Let's go on the front for a bit. I don't know why I like this view so much, I just do. Kind of hoping a train will pass in the opposite direction so we can have a proper look at it. That would be pretty sweet. 3.6 miles out now. Looks like the incline's increasing, but I can't be sure. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we speed, but I'd rather not. It is a very scenic game, this is. Alright, let's pop inside, check on our speed. Again, walking around is a bit glitchy. Oh, perfect timing. Damn, that really was good timing. We was at the limit. Uh, get down to it. Yeah, that'll do. Coming up on the 45 limit now. I doubt we'll actually be able to get up to speed, to be honest. Brakes are released. Not too far out now, but yeah, I, I don't think we're getting up to that speed limit. When you consider that our train's probably almost a mile long, we'll only be a mile out by the time we actually get there. Well, by the time we can get up to speed, I mean. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We're almost at 10,000 points though in the top right corner, that's pretty decent. 
10,000. We're still at bronze, so I don't know if that actually changes if you're a really good driver, which I'm definitely, definitely not. I've also been wondering why the two displays are exactly the same. Wouldn't it be better to have, like, the controls on that one and, like, maybe, I don't know, porn on that one or something? Kids, if you don't know what porn is, go ask your parents. Oh, what does that say? Please do not tamper with the brake valve settings with a broken train. <laughs> Please tell me that's a real sign. That's great. Fully equipped FRA 22 three glazing perfect just what you need 600 volts that's a lot never touch something that says 600 volts on it that will get you killed I'm pretty sure of that what is the time in real life awesome not bad yes yeah, Saturday now and uh, I thought I'd record some videos and some other games one because I just like playing them and two, because yesterday night on OCRP, when I was going to jump on, it was The Purge. And honestly, I got fed up of that. Because every time I did it, I just got killed like several thousand times. Ooh, we've got an orange light. That's... I don't know how far away the next light is. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut the power and coast. And if I see the next light, I'm going to start braking. Just hope it's not on a bend or something. Yeah, nice amber light up for there. I don't know how far away the next light is. Does it show me on the map? Yes, it does. That's good. That is really good. So the next light is... Oh, where we got to stop. That's fine. I can, I can do that. Oh, I keep pressing that to get out the map. That's annoying. Yeah, I'm just going to coast there. We're going downhill, so we probably will actually lose some speed, and the speed limit's gone up to 45. Um, I'm not going to go up to that, because one, there's a 40 limit coming up, and two, we're so close to our destination now that I really don't want to blow a red light. That's something I definitely don't want to do. So you usually ends up in death and crash and fire, maybe, so let's not try that. We're only 1.7 miles out now, come on, I could walk that. In fact, I do walk that every single day, pretty much. Except today, because I'm being lazy. <laughs> my walk-in goes from my bed to my kettle to my computer chef. And that's kind of sad, if you think about it. 40 limit coming up. So yeah, we, I doubt we would even have got up to our 45. If we did, it'd be for a few brief seconds. It would have been pretty pointless getting up to that. I did um, have a look. Look at the back of the train just coming out of nothing. Oh, there's the back of the train. Nope, that's just the draw distance. <laughs> yeah, I did have a quick read while I was time-lapsing about the signal systems. I didn't work out how to use them, but I did realise that speed limits, like signals have speed limits but I don't know what they are so if you've got like a red and an orange it means reduce speed to this even in like a 60 zone so I've probably broke the law there and um, they can also mean that you switch and track depending on which one is lit which colour again, I didn't learn which is which but um, that sounds was someone subscribing to me on my YouTube channel so Thank you, whoever that was. That threw me off balance a little bit. But yeah, that is um, the way the signals work in the States. Which is odd, because in the UK, signal just means go, stop, slow down. Right, we're 0 0.9 miles out now. We have picked up a little bit of speed, but not a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there soon. I love the way there's a speed limit beyond our destination, that's good. It's like, how can you even... What's the point in showing that speed limit? It's beyond their destination. We've got to stop there anyway. When do I start braking? I don't actually know the braking capability of this train. I think when I start to see 
tracks, maybe? I'm hoping it's a yard. I think it's a junction, actually. If I get the map up... Yeah, it's a junction. Oh, it's actually around this corner. I should really start braking now. Let's just give it a minimal reduction. Brake. See how that gets us. I'm thinking maybe go down to 20 and then we can at least guarantee our stop. Next to this lovely Pennsylvanian River. Any of you guys here from the States watching this video? Let me know which state you're from if you want to in the uh, comments below. I was actually looking genuinely at moving to the States so I'm pressing the wrong button. Because um, house prices are so much cheaper over there, they really are. Like, a house in the UK that costs 200 grand, over there costs like 50. <laughs> so much cheaper. Right, so that is a really odd signal that I think means yellow. Oh shite, we need to start slowing down badly. Do we actually? Yeah, that's a red light. We need to stop before that. Come on train, slow down. Full service, that'll do. Ooh, this is going to be close. What the hell kind of bridge is that? Why am I releasing the brake? No, we... Come on, stop. Please. Yeah, we're going to do it. We are going to do it. Our front door's still open. <laughs> Ooh, please stop. Please. Right, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. How many points did we get? Yes, I am level 3 now. Nearly level 4. I will take that. So yeah, that was uh, interesting. Can I actually get off the train now with the torpedoes? I really want them. Climb down step. So here we are. There's green light. I think someone else is going to take off the train now, but I don't know. That's totally not a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.